Hi, welcome to a new series of Biomediation course. My name is Dr. Miki and I'm planning to teach a Biomediation course as one of my courses in my channel. So, if you are interested, don't forget to hit the button of the subscribe and activate the bell to reach all of my new videos. In this video, I will introduce the Biomediation and also explain what the Biomediation is after the break. Welcome back. As you know, all of the waste products resulting from the human life have always a serious problem. Today, these waste products range from the sewage even to the nuclear waste. In the past, the disposal of these waste meant digging a hole, uh, dumping the waste material, and filling all in. So, all of this material is in the soil. But the problem is the later this method become the all of these materials become you know leaking into the water source and into the areas that they sustain the human life. So for these leaking problems now we have a new modern technique called the bioremediation, also known as transformation or degradation of the hazardous waste to non-hazardous waste or maybe less hazardous chemicals. So we need to manage our waste as the figure provided. If you look at this figure, you can find the, the first, uh, the, we have uh, some waste, we can reduce the waste. Reduce the waste means this is the minimum or minimize the amount of waste may be produced. Also, the waste may be reuse. Reuse means you can use the materials more than one time. This is called the re reuse. And also, if you use this material to make a new product, this is called recycling. If you recover the energy and the metals from the waste, this is called the recovery. Finally, the safe disposal of waste to landfill, this is called the disposal waste. If you look at this figure, you can find how to choose the safer plastic. The plastic is the containing a number at the bottom of each plastic. This is indicates how safe this plastic. So according to this plastic or this number, you can find the three different colors and numbers. White color, this is the means this is the more safe type of plastic. Number two, number four, and number five. And orange number one and number seven means this is the safe but under, you know, under cushion. That means you have to take care if you are using such plastic numbers. And number three and number six, this is red of color, means this is the not safe to use. In my channel, I have already the uh, one video explains in details what is this uh, plastic codes and number. I will put the, the link in the description. The population explosion in the world resulted in the increasing of the area in the polluted water and also polluted soil. As the number of people continues increasing day by day, is also growing the pressure on our natural resource as air, water and also landfill resource. If you look at this figure, you can find how the population increasing rapidly. You can see the world population increasing since 1927. The number of population at the time, it was only 2 billion. And increasing 3 billion to 3 billion on 1960, 4 billion on 1974, 5 billion on 1987, 6 billion uh, on 1999, and 7 billion on 2012. As you know, in our nature, we have different microorganisms like fungi, bacteria, and other microorganisms. These microorganisms are able to degrade or utilize the organic compounds from our environments. But we have one question arise maybe when the pollution occurs. Who will do this cleanup job? Actually, bioremediation will do this one. So, bioremediation is the term used to describe the biological strategy applicable to repair of damaged environment using the biological factors. 
of the risk to human and environmental health is rising. And there is evidence these pollutants are contributor to the global epidemic of cancer and other degenerative diseases as well. That means a lot of the diseases may be due to some of these uh, pollutants. Maybe pollutants from air pollutants or maybe the uh, uh, soil pollutants or many other pollutants may be come out and doing the, a lot of the health problem as well as the environmental problem. Now we have the bioremediation case study worldwide. We have a lot of the problem happens it's like the uh, oil spills occurred in the Prince William Sound, Alaska on March 24, 1989. Oil tanker spilled at that time around 260,000 to 750,000 barrels of the crude oil spilled that time and it was the most human caused environmental disaster. So what is the bioremediation? If you look at the bioremediation as a definition you can find the different definitions and many definitions what is the bioremediation. But I need you to know about the, the some terms. We have degradation, we have biodegradation, we have bioremediation. So degradation means the degradation of the pollutant. It doesn't matter is it degraded by the microbe or not. That means maybe you can use the chemical degradation or physical degradation. This is called only degradation. If you want to use the, any microorganism to degrade this pollutant or this organic pollutant, you can use the biodegradation. But what type of bio? Maybe you can use the plant, maybe you can use the bacteria, maybe you can use the fungus, and so on. So this is called the biodegradation, means I'm using one, one of the microorganisms or living organisms to proceed this degradation. So what is the bioremediation? Bioremediation, this is the new term, this is the using the bio microorganism as well to degrade the pollutants in place. That means you need to, you know, you need to remove the pollutant or clean this area in place. This is called the bioremediation. If you want to use this bioremediation in the lab, that means this is called the biodegradation. So to define the bioremediation means using of living organisms like bacteria, fungi, yeast or even plants to clean up the oil spills or remove other pollutants from soil, water and the wastewater as well. Another definition, clean up of pollution from soil, groundwater, surface water and air using a biological, usually the microbiological processes. This is the sum of the bioremediation uh, definitions. So bioremediation depends on the enzymes that may be produced from the microorganism. So these enzymes are able to degrade the pollutants or organic compounds or organic pollutants from hazardous waste to non-hazardous waste. Finally, in this video, we have one question. Why bioremediation? Most of the polluted area like the soil or groundwater or others can be cleaned at the site without having to move it. Also, why bioremediation? Because potentially low cost, around from 60 to 90 percent less than the other technologies like the chemicals or even the uh, physical methods. Also, does it require a lot of the workers or equipment as other methods? Also, why bioremediation? Because it allows clean up the workers to avoid contact with the pollutants. Also, the microbe changes the harmful chemicals into water and harmless gases as well. So, this is the end of my video. And please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to reach all of my videos. Good luck, thank you and bye-bye.